there are three cultural agencies primarily responsible for heritage sites in the country. Uh, the first one is the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, then the National Museum, and then the National Historical Commission of the Philippines. Uh, the jurisdictions of these three agencies have been defined. The National Historical Commission is responsible for the heritage sites with historical significance. The National Museum is in charge of the heritage sites with cultural significance. And the National Commission for Culture and the Arts is in charge of world heritage sites. That is, heritage sites with outstanding universal value. And CCA is the overall site manager for cultural heritage sites such as the Baroque churches, composed of the four churches of Pauay in Ilocos Norte, Santa Maria in Ilocos Sur, Miagao in Iloilo, and San Agustin in Intramuros, Manila, as well as the rice terraces of the Philippine Cordilleras and the historic city of Bigan. Uh, we touch base with all uh, branches of the government, uh, the legislative, the executive, and then the judicial branches, and even to the levels of the government, from the national down to the local. The World Heritage Convention mandates that uh, conservation management should be participatory in nature. So the immediate stakeholders of the heritage uh, uh, structures are the owners themselves. The churches, for instance, are owned by their respective corporation souls, being the bishop or the archbishop of the particular diocese where the churches are located. The rice terraces of the Philippine Cordilleras, which span to four municipalities in the province of Ifugao, are being owned by the individual families and uh, the territorial jurisdiction belongs, of course, to the municipal government. So we also touch base with them. The historic city of Vigan is also managed by the city government of Vigan. Ideally, out of this pre coup or the Philippine Registry of Cultural Properties, the next candidates to become national cultural treasures and national uh, historical landmarks or sites or structures should come from the pre coup and it's up to the National Museum or the National Historical Commission to confirm whether the historical significance or the cultural significance is nationally important or not. The cultural properties that are in the tentative list are those with potential properties of outstanding universal value subject to the confirmation of the authorized uh, advisory bodies of the World Heritage Convention.